Hey, is it uh, okay if I come in? I just want, I saw you leave for your room and, you know, I wanted to make sure you're okay. <laughs> so, you know, are you okay? No, that's allowed. You looked really overwhelmed. Is it okay if I stay here with you for a little while? Okay, good. Let me just close the door again. There. Nice and quiet. So, you're not feeling so good right now, huh? You want to talk to me about it? No? Oh, well, that's okay, too. You don't have to talk to me about it. You don't... You just don't feel like talking at all, huh? All right. Well, you can just sit here if you want. Are you okay if I keep talking? You can nod yes or shake your head no. Or nod with your hand or shake it no. Yeah, see? That works too. So, does that feel okay to do? Good. So, um, is it okay if I talk or... Do you need quiet? It's okay? Thank you. All right, let's uh, see what else I can do to be helpful. Do you want me to turn down the lights a little? Yes, okay. Less light is good. Let's see. I'll pull this curtain over. Turn this light off. Hmm. That's better, huh? That should be a bit easier on your eyes. Okay. Can I... Can I hug you? No. Uh, not right now. Okay, that's fine. Maybe later. Okay, that's good too. We can see how you feel in a while. But you don't have to feel up to hugs. You can just sit. I can talk for a while. Do you want me to stay quiet or distract you? Ah, sorry. Do you want me to be quiet? A shrug. Okay, that's pretty clear too. Do you want a distraction? Okay, distractions are good. Do you want to hear some stories about my cat? Yeah. Well, you know you're her favorite person. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Let's see. Did I tell you about the time she scared the absolute hell out of my roommates as a kitten? Oh, yeah. Back when we were still house training, she had an accident on the sofa. So I washed it off and put down some baking soda to help, you know, absorb the smell. Anyway, I went out and my roommates were still at home. And then an hour later, I get a panicked phone call. Our baby cat was foaming at the mouth. I start getting my shit together to rush home, and then I get another call, right? Yeah. False alarm. Apparently, the cat was licking the baking soda. Yeah. Ah. They had quite a shock. <laughs> All right. Uh, I might need a little bit of light. Let's... Oh, I know. I can light one of the candles that was over here. Is that... Gonna be okay? Thanks. You have incredible low light vision, but me, not so much. You have eyes like a hawk. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my phone screen to make sure I don't step on anything. I'll point it away from you, but feel free to cover your eyes while I have it turned up. I'll let you know when it's just the candle, okay? Hmm. Vanilla or rose? Or both? Do you have a preference? Wait, um, let me ask that in a way you can do yes or no for. Should I light the vanilla? Cool. Should I light the rose? Hmm. Good choice. All right, let me take care of that. 
Let's see. Oh, there's the matches. Okay, my phone light is off now. It's just candles. Thanks for letting me have a little bit of light. Sometimes the dark does really weird things to my brain. Let me come sit next to you again. Scooch over a bit more. Mm. Mm. Okay. Where was I? Oh, right. Cat stories. Uh, she's too smart for her own good. Way high maintenance, you know? She wants attention all the time. A bit like a needy toddler. Sometimes it's good. You know, I taught her to ring a little bell if the door is closed and she needs to leave the room. Which only took about three days to train. But it uh, also is really weird sometimes. So, example. I taught her show me as an instruction. Which means that when she comes in and yells at me, if I say show me, I'll follow her to whatever she's yelling about. And sometimes the things that are important to her are... <sighs> Well, let's see. She's pointed out to me that a cloth has fallen into her water bowl, and it was very concerning, or... One of her most common ones is to lead me to her food bowl, because she's eaten all the food from the middle, and she wants me to shake all the food from the edges back to the middle of her bowl. Or she wants me to stay and watch her eat. One time. <laughs> One time, she wanted to let me know that she was very upset that it was raining, and could I please make the sky water stop? <laughs> Another time, she came into the room and cried, and it turned out to be because her sunbeam had shifted directions onto something she couldn't lie on anymore. Help, I managed to unroll all this toilet paper onto my litter box, and now I can't use it. Please uncover this box, I would like to sit in it. Here is my toy. Make it move. <laughs> Actually, that last one is by far the most common. If I take too long to get up in the morning, she'll clatter her favorite string on a stick toy up the hallway and then pull it onto the bed so she can chirp at me to wake up and pay her attention. Hey, play with me. Hey, hey, play with me. Dad, wake up. I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you feeling? A little better? Oh, that's good. You want that hug? Still no. That's okay. Let me show you something I think you might like, okay? I'll hold out my finger like this, and then if you touch your fingertip to mine, only if you want to, then it's a finger hug. So I can show you that I care enough to want to give you affection, even if you don't feel like a lot of touch would be okay right now. You can ask me for one anytime you like as well. Hugs are definitely a sometimes thing. No. Glad you're feeling a little better. I'm going to go back out to join the party for a little bit, but if you need me, just send me a message on my phone, okay? I can come back and get you anything you need. I don't mind at all. I want to do things that will help you feel better, okay? So if you need a drink of water or a snack or just quiet company, just send me a message. I'll come check in in about hmm, 15 minutes or so. Does that sound okay? Hmm, okay. Well, wish me luck. I will go to brave the crowds. Hey, before I go, I love you, friend. You're important to me. I'm here for you. Anytime.